Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and I'm going to continue the box model tutorials here with uh, CSS margins. And so you already saw a little bit of a, a margin in the last lesson. When we inspected the body, it had an 8 pixel uh, margin on it by default. In fact, let's go back here and let's highlight over the body, and I'll click on it. And as you can see, the uh, browser default has an 8 pixel margin. That's why we have the space right here. First off, let's see what happens when we remove this 8 pixel margin. So to do that, I'm going to go to Sublime Text and I'm going to come up to the body and I'm going to say margin and then zero. And what this is going to do is it's going to set every single side of margin, the top, the left, the right, the bottom, it's all going to be zero. I'm going to save this, we'll go back to our Chrome, refresh, and you'll notice that it goes to the whole edge of the screen. In fact, if we were to set this width for the uh, the wrapper back to 100%, um, which it originally was, refresh it, it's going to go edge to edge. But you'll notice there's this little bit here. This is actually the margin for the header. And we'll get into why that happens a little bit later. But just so you know, you can check this out here. And this is all pushed down because this has a margin of um, it's at 0.67 m's through the browser. Okay, and if you want this to actually get pushed down, we're going to be doing that with padding. And I'll show that in a couple tutorials after we do border. Um, but just so you know, this distance right here is not margin on the body. Um, it's margin on the, uh, the H1, which is pushing the div down itself. And so this div doesn't have any margin itself either. But let's say we want to give this div a margin. And just like width, we can do this in pixels or percent. So I'm going to go down here to wrapper and I'm going to give this some margin and we're just going to give this a margin of uh, let's say 50 pixels. And just like before when we had uh, zero, this is going to apply to every single side. So let's save and go back. We refresh and we now have, it's sort of weird, right? So this is set to be 100%. Well, if we have a 50 pixel margin on each side, this can't really be 100%. So let's go back here and revise this. I'm just going to get rid of this width entirely, save this and come back. Okay, as you can see, now we have a 50 pixel margin, 50, 50, 50. It's going to be everywhere. In fact, if you hover over this under expect, in fact, if you forget how to get here, you right click inspect element. If you're using Chrome, I believe it's inspect element on Safari and Firefox as well. And so if you just hover over the div here, you can see this margin. Um, and since we have it at 50 and 50, it's going to be centered. Well, let's add uh, something a little bit different here. Let's go to our CSS and I'm going to get rid of this margin. And I just want a margin on the right and it's going to be 100 pixels. And then we'll also have a margin on the left and it's going to be 50 pixels and then a margin on the top and it's going to be let's say 200 pixels. We'll save this and then we'll come back to our, our document here and refresh. Let's hover over this. As you can see we have the 50, 200, and 100 and then no margin on the bottom because we're not specifying any margin anywhere. But let's say you don't want to have to write margin top, margin left all the time because chances are if you're using the margin tag, you're going to be using um, you know, a margin on more than one face of an object. So if we delete all these, we can use our word margin again. So just like before, however, there's an order in which you're defining margin. And what it goes is it goes top, so let's give 200 on the top. And then it goes to right, so let's give uh, Let's do something 150 on the right, and then it goes to the bottom, which is, we'll just have this be 30 pixels, even though you won't really see it, and then the left, which we'll do as 10 pixels. So now let's come back to our Chrome, and as you can see, we got 10 on the left, 200 on the top, 150 on the right, and then uh, let's hover over this. You can see that little bit of 30 pixels on the bottom. So it goes top, right, bottom, left around clockwise, okay? So let's say you have the same top and bottom margin and the same left and right margin. Well, you can actually leave off these last two values. If I delete this like this, what this is going to do is that this 200 is going to be applied 
to the top and the bottom, and this will be the left and the right. So it goes top, right, bottom, left. If you were only wanted to find the top and bottom as being different, you could say like this, and now this does top is 200, right is 150, bottom is 100, and left is 150. Let's save this, and you can see it in action. Okay, so now the right and the left have the same top, and then uh, 100 or 200 and 100. Cool. Well, this is really great. Um, and as you can see here, this is all, all fine. But let's say we actually give this, we want to have this box has an actual uh, width. And I'm just going to give this a width of, we'll say, we'll say it's going to be 300 pixels, okay? We'll save it and come back. Well, now all of a sudden, we, you know, our margins aren't as clean because this has a width of 300. Our margins are the same, but since this has to take up the entire width here, this margin on the right here is just way bigger than it should be. What if you want this to be completely centered in here? Um, you, you're not going to be able to account for all these different browser sizes, so you can't give it a, a margin of, you know, you can't keep bumping up this margin until it fits in the center because you'll never truly be in the center. So let's say we want to put this in the center. The way to do that is with auto. So this says automatically determine the margin for the right and left. So as long as you have a div with the width, and then it has, it could have a zero for top and bottom margin. We'll put these at 50 pixels, and we'll have them both be at 50 pixels. So what this is going to do is it's going to have 50 pixels on the top, the left and right are going to be auto, and it has a width of 300. So this div is going to be perfectly centered on our page, no matter how we have it laid out. Refresh, and now let's move this around. So uh, a lot of people, when they're first starting CSS, they think they want to have something centered, like a div. So what do they do? They can look on the body, and they could say, oh, the body needs a center, a, a line center. But there's only one property in CSS that's a line center, and it's text align. So text align center is not appropriate here. You want to center a div, you use, you give it a width, and then you have it uh, a margin, which can be, you know, can be zero, but as long as it has auto for left and right. So we have it like this, it's still going to be the same. Okay? So this is how you center a div using CSS margins. As always, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment on the video, hit us up at Level Up Tuts on Twitter. Um, once again, this is Scott Tolinski with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching.